Hi there. Welcome to part 11 of the Yamato build. Um, this is just a quick update because it's uh, August the 12th in the UK and the heat is horrendous. It is for me anyway. It's 32 here today and uh, I got a job to stick it. Um, I've had to turn the fans off because they sound like a hovercraft in the background. So I've turned them off. Um, just a quick update really on how far I got. I think in the previous video, well just before I do that, I like to uh, say mode really, thank all my old subscribers and a lot of the new subscribers. Um, I don't know if you've seen part one, but I'm just an average modder. I'm not trying to teach anyone to suck eggs or do things or nothing like that. It's just me at the bench. Um, Nigel from Nigel's Modeling Bench uh, kept on with me. You should do a video build. You should do a video build. And in the end, I bit the bullet and here I am. But uh, just like to thank you all. I'm very humbled by all the support I've had. Um, anyway, moving on. In the last uh, video, um, I think I glued the deck on. Well, I have since glued the deck on and uh, I give it a dark oil wash. Um, this ship, back in... October 1944 apparently the decks was painted black or soot I tend to believe personally it was probably soot because as I stated before this ship was in quite a filthy condition from the photos I can see but in April 1945 the day it was sunk um, obviously the soot had worn off but the deck was still pretty dirty so, I've done the deck. It was done with an oil wash that I made up myself. It was a brown and black oil wash. And, uh, yeah, I think it's come out all right, actually. I quite like it, personally. Anyway, to, and I've, um, a few things I have done off video is I've done the felt wedge on the barbets. So that's done there today. I'm going to try, I say try because I'm sweating quite bad here, to uh, carry on with the front of the deck. So, I'll take these off. Oh, Tron left me a nice recommendation or a message. He said what I should do, he said he recommended me to fill the hose up because if a part goes down there, I'm probably going to lose it forever. So thanks Tron for the tip. Always happy to uh, read tips and whatever. It's uh, some will I'll take on board and others. Well, I apologize if I don't. Like I said, I'm not, you know, trying to teach people to suck eggs. It's just me at the bench doing some modeling. Uh, so I'm gonna pack this out with toilet paper a minute. New new rope. Nigel's favourite, the Tesco's one. Absolutely useless is what you should use it for. It's quite good for packing the emoji. Thanks, Tron, for that tip anyway. Absolutely brilliant idea. I didn't think of it, to be honest, but like you said, if I drop a part in there, I'm never going to find it. So, yeah, I'll put a bit in there. And I'll take that bit off. Yeah. Okay, let's start. Right, let's bring this one in so everyone can see it. I'll try and zoom in a bit. Just so I can focus there a night. I'll just bring the camera back a bit. Maybe in a bit. So I don't get my head in the way. Uh, let's see. 
sorry about this but there right let's start okay where are we here so I think I start at the front I want Z38 some of these parts I've cut out and sprayed already so Z38 so I know they're in here get my tweezers Z38 I know that's part Z38 so we'll go ahead and put this one on there and this one goes on here I'm not quite sure what glue I'm going I think I better use that tell me how extra thin and hopefully it's not too warm that it will evaporate that touch there but yeah I think today they've uh, actually declared a drought situation yeah so there that's part 32 I've just dropped something on the floor which I've got to pick up which is one of the bar bits so that's that one so moving on I'm going to move back to H42 so H42 right some people's going to cringe at this because I've previously I've sprayed this up I, I started to cut them off and put them on little sticks and that but in all fairness I'm going to lose bits so I sprayed it all up and what I'll do is I'm not going to do it on video just touch them up afterwards I think at the moment that's the easiest way for me so I'm looking at part 42 and if I remember rightly that's a part I cut off because and that's when I thought bugger this for a game of monkeys did I or not because it was just just to know how to stick them on anything to you I thought if I stuck them on double sided tape The airbrush would just blow them away. So I go, no, I haven't chopped that one off. It's there. Some of these parts are so tiny that if I'm not careful, I'm going to lose them. And I'm quite fortunate, really, I haven't lost any already. So there's that one. Part 42, I think I clipped them off fairly close. So, hopefully, any little tab that's there, being so small, the glue I can't even see any tabs, but the glue will I'll just put it where I cut it off. I think that will glue in. That's better. Right, part 42. Part 42. Very thick. Very good. My old, good old pencil. Mark them off as I do them. 41. H1. 2H1s. Okay. H1 and in trim more being time here is you put the sprue gates in quite a good place I just check that just to make sure there isn't a now they're telling me to do the bomb there's one Look at the other sprue because there's, there's two identical um, sprues. So 
But yeah, it's really uh, pretty warm here today. There's that one. Hopefully, by the time you see us see this, the, the um, it would have uh, cooled down a bit. Because you got a job to do anything in this weather. Right, as they want me to do, they want me to. There's a little tab underneath there. They just want me to take that tab off. So I'll take that bit of tab off. And these. And there's a little bit of sprue there as well. So let's get this out. that way sitting there come on like that oh, I say like that Give me a bit straight, to be honest. Oh, that's better. I have problems with the deck a little bit. Well, I've got to be honest, I, I mucked up, really. Um, <clears throat> the the Pontus deck, which come, which is uh, branded with Tamiya, to me, it's too. It's not wide enough, and they give you uh, very thin strips. There's fillers, and two bills I broke them as soon as I tried taking them off. It's so thin, it, it it just broke on me. So I had to make some up on my own. But in all fairness, the dark wash covers it up. I see he's uh, unsticking there a bit. I should go back and stick that one down. A little bit there. But why they didn't actually make the full deck, I, I don't know. No doubt they got their reasons. Right. Now what do I want? So I can mark them off. Is that one? Oh, I'm that one. Why can we pay back? Need a hose reel? Now I know I've done him, and I've done one in a previous made one up before they're quite little smart things I don't know if we can see that no focus and quite a nice little chappy really very um, very delicate I ain't gonna focus now or not probably not but hey so that one there they, they want me to put that, they want me to put that in the middle, so they want me to put that there, so that means I should have to get some super glue, 
I wonder if this is going to work today. I'm flipping hot with blue. Really took a probably fine. By the time this video comes out, it'll be pouring down with rain. Hopefully, anyway. Ow! You stuck out me flipping finger. Right. I want my famous little things. I love these things. I've said before. Hang on a minute. I'm just gonna. Come on then, you want a little bit. Dee, 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 dee. I think I squeeze the bottle so tight it does make it. Oh, it's coming out the other end a minute. Hang on a minute, that's dropping out of there. Don't want that. Okay, don't let's try again. If I had a toothpick. Perhaps I could nick some of that. I don't know whether this is going to dry ever before I get to put my wheel on. That's that. It's probably dried already, to be honest. It's that warm here. It's incredible. Well, if it has, I'll, I'll go back and do it. of an old pot I think today what I'll do is take that off put that in the bin I'll chuck a bit of glue on the top of a pot because this glue is really dry before I can get in might need just a little bit more than what I normally use. Right, there's that. Okay, and take that part off. Excuse me for sniffing again. I don't know whether it's hay fever or just pollution, to be honest, but it's just I got it all year round, just makes me bunged up. Right, so what is this here? Z34. Okay. I've previously cut that off to spray it. Z34. I want me to put that... I don't think it's nearly evaporating time on. Yeah. Stuff's evaporating, man, before I ah before I can get there. Right, let's have a look, make sure that's in the right place. Uh, there's a little groove for it to sit in. It's going to come round a bit. Aye. Now the glue's just not evaporating. It's there now, though. Okay, there's that one. 
Um, Z34, Z32, Z32's in my pot again. So this little guy. Z32 goes that way. Hunky Goak. Let's have a look here. Z32. It goes that way. I want me to put this little guy another way up. In there or the other way around? The other way around. Right, so is that up against? Double check, is that what they want up against? Uh, looks like it. That's not, they got this little guy. There. Right, so. Let's just, before I actually glue it, because there is a couple of stages to this little bit. I'll go ahead and have a look. Ah, uh, something that goes on top of that one. Uh, Z37 goes on top. And it looks as if he's set back. That's what it looks like. Definitely got the eyes pointing up, and it looks like he's set more closer to the front. Which probably makes sense. I think what I'll do there is just tacking, just in case I got taken off. Because I'm not quite so sure where that sits there. Can I get the other bit? Just take that one in place, and just in case I've got to move it. So now I want Z35, Z34. Right, now they're in here because this is when I gave up taking things off the sprue. Some people's going to cringe now because some people believe you should take everything off the sprue. And, uh, I'm sorry, but my way my f fingers in that work, um, I probably would have lost after this. So I'm going to keep it on the sprue. I'll take it off, tidy it up. And if it needs touching up, so be it, I'll touch it up. Now, all good for the ones that do do it. You know, I'm not. I should probably do it after the video is just go around and make sure all this is stuck on properly. So like I say, it's so warm here that it's just evaporating. Um, Get this bit done. Oh, it's going to go work fast. Where's that bit? It's coming on. So they can circle it anyway. So now I want 
H2, H2, right, H2. Two H2s, and it looks like they go either side. Stay there. H2. There's one there. Fit in there. There you go, get the other stroop. Get the other sprue. Another H2. Drop it on the deck. Come here. Nah, I can't even pick it up, it's that flipping small. Straight down through there. Make it roll. I won't try and take my thumb off as well. Right. A lot of parts to the ship. It's a very nice kit, though. It's a very nice kit. Uh, 43. Done them too. They put a circle around there because my old dead old me won't remember that, did it? Alright. Z43. Well, if I took that out or not, it looks like I could have. Z43? No, it's not in there. Right, now I'll try. Z43, 45, well there it is up there, for a minute I thought I'd lost that bit so I thought I'd cut it off, so, in all fairness, the actual colour of the plastic isn't far off the colour of the ship itself so on the small bits you're not even going to notice and too was it as far as I can see at the moment there's no touch up to be done It's all in places where you can't see it, so at the moment. Come on, turn over. Don't think I've been any good as a watchmaker. Unless it was someone like Big Ben. Just sit in there and leave her alone, Paul, because you know what you like. You keep at it. Right, there's that one. So what number was that? 
That's that one, Z43. Z43. Right, H42. Okay, H42. Two of Wow, so I bang my head against the flipping camera again. That's Z screw. Ah, H42. H42. There they are. Two of these little little ones. I think Tron, you suggested a good idea, mate. Right, here we go again. That's what happened now, don't you? I'm not flipping glue over anyway. And there's one there. I take it. No, I've just come over there, so I have to re glue that one. Call it a day, guys, because it is obviously so hot here. The flipping glue isn't working its best. It's evaporating before I even get it near it. Which is hard to believe. Some of the American guys, they got massive temperatures. And that. Right, where am I? So really, I've basically covered the, this step here. Um, I am going to call it a day today because it's so hot and I'm beginning to sweat pursuit. And I can't even say that word a lot. So um, until next time, thanks for watching. Keep safe and keep modeling. Thank you, guys.